All right, right triangles using the Pythagorean theorem. If you remember what the Pythagorean theorem is, uh, the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if we remember, the a and the b are gonna represent our legs. These are the legs. And our c is gonna represent what we call the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, okay? Now, on our triangle, the hypotenuse is gonna be the longest side, so we're gonna label that with a C. If we look at this, the two shortest sides here, uh, this is gonna be our C. The uh, legs are the two shortest sides, and it does not matter which one you label A and B. I always like to label the shorter one A and the longer one B between the two legs. I don't know why, I just do it that way. But if you'll notice, the legs connect right at the 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse does not touch the, the 90 degree angle. It is actually opposite the 90 degree angle, okay? So, if we are looking for a value, we're looking for the one that we don't have, which is the hypotenuse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our leg values for A and B, and then we're gonna try to find our hypotenuse. So here we go. A is eight, uh, so I'm gonna plug in eight for A, and then B is nine, that is not a six, that's a B. Uh, so I'm gonna say nine squared equals C squared because we don't know what C is, so we're trying to find it. So eight squared, which is eight times eight, and nine squared, which is nine times nine. Eight squared is 64 plus nine squared, which is 81, and that equals C squared. So we add 64 and 81. All right, 81, let's do it the old school way. 64, that's five. Eight plus six, 14. 145 equals C squared. Now, to get C by itself, we have to do the opposite of what's being done to it. So it is being squared. So the opposite of a square or an, a two exponent is gonna be what we call a square root. So to get rid of this, we have to square root. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So on the right side, the square root and the square cancel out, okay? So we're left with C equals. Now, the square root of 145, what number times itself equals 45? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my calculator and each calculator is different, but for my calculator, I'm gonna find the square root of 145 and that's gonna give me an answer that looks like this. Now, if we look at the directions, it says round to the nearest tenth. So the tenth is gonna be the zero. I'm gonna circle it, I'm gonna look at the number that's next to it. If the number that's next to it is between zero and four, we keep it the same. If it's five or greater, we round up. This number next to it is four, it's less than five, so we're gonna keep that number the same, so it is 12.0, just like that. You could say 12, that's totally fine as well, all right? So C equals 12. So this number right here is gonna be 12.0, okay? Now, moving on to this one. Actually, let's not move on to that one. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. If you need to rewind that, go ahead and rewind it uh, and rewind.